Anyone who's just joined, hello again and welcome to today's Hospital Rooms Digital Art School. My name's Louis and I'm hosting today and I'm here with uh, two new members of the team, Murphy and Charlotte, who are going to be uh, fielding the questions throughout the workshop. Uh, today we're very lucky to have John T. Lees, a uh, Cornish artist who's joining us with a, for a sketchbook making and drawing workshop. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple of housekeeping uh, things before we start. So the, the session is recorded, but the only people who are, uh, whose screens are on are us here hosting um, at Hospital Rooms and John T's, so we can't see you. The recording will be uh, available later on YouTube for you to watch. Um, we'll be uploading it at sort of an hour after the session. Um, there's also going to be a, a Dropbox link sent to you after the workshop uh, where you can share with us what you've, you've been doing, as we can't see it during the session. Um, and any questions you have throughout the workshop, we've got the Q&A uh, feature at the bottom of the, uh, the Zoom box. So any questions for John T about his work or about the workshop, or if you want us to slow down or repeat anything, please just pop it in the Q&A. Um, and of course, we've got to thank Seasalt, who have uh, sponsored uh, this round of Hospital Rooms uh, workshops. Um, and they are, they've uh, supported us on a project in the past in a uh, unit in uh, Plymouth and us uh, supporting a new project coming up. So we're really grateful to uh, CSALT and, and all the help they've given us. Um, so before we get started, I'm just gonna say a little bit about hospital rooms for anyone who doesn't know what we do. Um, hospital rooms is an arts and mental health charity and we work with inpatient mental health units, uh, running workshops and then transforming the units with contemporary art with the, the artists we work with. Um, uh, to introduce John T, um, we're very lucky to have John T today. He's an artist living and working in West Cornwall. The driving mechanism uh, behind John T's work is play and the ex eccentricities of human activity. Uh, we've got a picture of his wheelie project here, which I'm sure John T will tell you more about. Uh, John T works with materials and objects and people to create artwork. And he um, explores how we look at art as well. He's been working with primary school groups in Cornwall recently. Um, looking at the Cornish, the Cornwall School's art collection. Um, he's the, also the fine art course leader at Falmouth, so he's uh, very used to education. It's a big part of his work. Um, and as I said, today he's going to be just showing us um, how to make a kind of a neat sketchbook and, and some drawing activities with, with the sketchbook. Um, so that's enough from me. Um, I'll hand over to you now, John T. Thanks, thanks Louis. Um, it's uh, uh, lo lo lovely to be here and uh, uh, lovely to be talking to everyone. I'm looking forward to some questions um, and, um, and yeah, may, maybe, maybe st uh, getting some ideas from, from, from you all. Now, uh, we're gonna begin by making a sketchbook. Um, and and in, in order to do that, uh, you, you need a, a piece of paper, a, a normal A4 sheet of paper, and you, we're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna make lots of these because I, I work really fast and, um, yeah, and I think I'm going to sort of tear through them. But look, you, you, you fold the, the A4 sheet of paper in half. Um, you fold it in half again. And then, um, hold on. And then you fold it in half one more time. You've caught me at a flustered moment because it's, it, it's, it's taken me five minutes to sort of balance this webcam. Uh, but I'll calm down as I get drawing. But anyway, so you look, you, 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 you've, uh, we've got a piece of A4, sheets of A4 paper. You folded it in half, folded it in half twice, then three times. Now, um, if, you unfold, if you unfold it once and you see the closed edge here, uh, you've got to rip on that line down, down, this, down this way. Now, I'll just put it on, on, on the table here. And you can kind of do a careful rip. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, okay, great. And then, so you've, you've got a, a piece of paper with a hole in like that. Fold it in half. And then, oops, and then look, you push it together. And uh, turn it over. And there's a little sketch, a little sketchbook with a one, two, three, four, four pages, or eight pages. These, these are called um, double, double page spreads uh, in, 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 in uh, publishing or if you do children's books. But uh, so there's one, 
to three double, double page spreads. So anyway, uh, I'm going to make a few of these and, and then we're going to do some uh, drawing warm up exercises and uh, a, a little game and, and then just sort of draw some, draw some pictures together. So look, I'm going to work quickly. And, um, I'm, I think I'm going to make about three. So I imagine, I hope, that, that you're on the other side of uh, the camera somewhere um, making little sketchbooks. I didn't talk you through this one, but I'll just, I, I might talk you through it one more time. I'm going to put it down here again um, and rip it. And open it. Keep, keep the edges kind of nice and um, uh, sharply folded. And it just kind of pushes together. So look, there's the pages. And I'll make, um, can I make one more please, Louis? Yeah, definitely. Good, yeah, good for anyone who's at home to see it a third time, just uh, in yeah. case you catch up. I mean, in blue piece of fashion, I should have had some of these prepared. Um, but I think, but I think, um, I, I quite like making, you know, I think it's nice to make it together. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me think about um, why, why I do this. I, I, I make these sketchbooks all the time just because, um, uh, because I'm constantly drawing and writing down um, ideas and, it's, it's, and, and they're kind of pocket sized. So, um, so it's something that I do all the time to kind of, um, um, you know, uh, record ideas and, 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 and draw things that I see and draw things that I imagine. Um, and, it's, and it's super cheap, so it's, um, I kind of like that. Okay, so we've got three. Now I, I've got here, let me just see, my, a, 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 a set of pens. And I think I'm gonna be working upside down, so I'm just gonna move move over here so that we, we all see the same same thing and what I, what I might do actually I imagine you've got a4 paper but I've got this this bigger um, a3 I think this is and it should it should make uh, you know a bigger drawing on, on the screen for you for us so you can make it with any size of paper really couldn't you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you can make it with a you know gigantic piece um, I, um, yeah, whatever you've got handy, um, but the, you know, and I, I might carry on, well, I might make, just use big ones here, Louis, because I think it will show up better on the table for yeah. people kind of watching at home. Definitely. Okay. So, um, it's, it, it's really funny with drawing, you know, like, um, well, uh, you know, for me, it, it, it sometimes takes a while to warm up and to kind of, um, and for ideas to sort of, of come. So we're gonna do two things to begin with. Um, we're gonna just play around and, and, and do some mark making and um, you know, kind of um, feel different pens and do dip, draw different shapes. We're gonna, we're gonna play a little game where we, where we imagine something. And then, then I think we might do some, um, you know, like, like fill, fill some book with some books, fill the books with some pictures. And at the moment, so I'm interested in um, you know continuous line, and I'm interested in um, archetypes. So, for example, you know I kind of think what's, what exists in the world. Uh, so instead of drawing a, a, a you know Persia whatever we've got Persia partner, I, 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 I draw kind of like um, you know kind of a, an, an archetypal sort of car. You know, it's sort of um, and instead in, you know instead of a, a um, drawing, you know, specific type of plants, you know, I, I, I draw a kind of a plan that could be any, any type of plant. So, so I'm going to choose a bunch of um, objects and things and um, um, yes, yeah, stuff, stuff that exists in the world and, and, and draw little versions of it. And you, you can give me suggestions and I can give you some suggestions and we'll, we'll just try and make a picture out of that or lots of pictures or a story. Um, right. So where to begin? Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, we're going to make some uh, marks. So I've got in, 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 my, uh, in my swan cup here, uh, you can see that's like a swan shape. Uh, it's an old thing. I've got a, a propeller pencil. And I've got some kind of fine felt tips. And I've got some, uh, some ordinary pencils. And I've got these sorts of um, kind of uh, fatter, bold felt tips. And I'm, I'm just going to kind of scribble and draw. 
So, um, so this, this is something that I quite like doing. This is kind of like um, a nice uh, pattern. It's funny because I'm, I'm looking at lots of brass rubbings at the minute, you know, from, you know, as part of my research for my work. And this is a pattern that I see on lots of, um, you know, brass plaques um, and to do with family trees often. You know, they have uh, one side of the family in, in, in here and one side of the family in here. But I, but I like this pattern. I think it's used lots in, 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 in all sorts of uh, work. But just, just, feel, just make some marks and feel how the, how the pen acts on the paper. And different pens and different uh, writing implements will make different, um, different marks. And it's funny, you know, you, um, you have different preferences on different days. Sometimes I really like um, um, a ballpoint biro and, and it's super scratchy. And, um, and sometimes, you know, like uh, the best drawing can come with a West pen. But I'm trying to think of some other kind of things that might, you know, uh, begin to make me feel comfortable with the pen. This is quite nice. This is like a tear or a, a raindrop. I like this kind of oval shape. Let me turn around a bit. It's kind of like a leaf or, or an eye. I don't know. Yeah, so, you know, on, on, your, on your pad, with your pen, let's make some marks. This is something, this is something I quite like doing at the moment. It's sort of, when, when I was little, um, you know, at school, do you know how, like, you doodle in class when you should be, um, when you should be working? Um, I think I learned how to do this, and it, take, it takes me a while. Look, I've got that wrong. But you can, do you know that game where you do a, a house with a, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you, do, you know, do you know a house with a, with, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a cross in it? Yeah, do you know that one, Louis? Yeah, yeah. I spent a lot of time doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, can, you can see how, how well my brain works, you know, like it'll take me 10 goes to, to get it ready, but it's enjoyable. And I think it was the first, um, I think it was the, probably the, uh, you know, the, 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 the first time I, I kind of thought about not taking the pen off the, off the paper. And I think, I think that idea of a kind of continuous line from this box, um, it happens when you write signatures too. You know, you don't, um, you don't necessarily take your pen off. So, you know, you could write your name um, and there's my name. That's not, my signature is not as glamorous as that in real life. <laughs> but I've tried to do it with, um, without taking, without taking the, the, the pen off. But I like, I like the kind of, the, uh, the, the, the freedom that comes with kind of um, not, not, not always, um, you know, having to be precise and not, not always having to take the pen off and start up in, 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 um, in different places. So scribble, draw, you know, write, um, make funny boxes. I'll just show you quickly on, on, on this book, on, on, on this last page of the book, something that I'm doing all the, all the time now. It comes from, it comes from measuring. I was, I, was building, I was building a shelf or something at home and I had to find the center. And an, and an easy way to, to find, find the center is to put a line from one end of the paper to the other diagonally and then do, do, the, do the same, opposite corners. And what, what I began to quite enjoy was, was um, this idea of just, you know, continuing. And, and, and dividing up the paper in, 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 in this way. And um, so I, I spend 
I spend hours doing this and I didn't really have a reason for doing it. I, I still don't really have a reason, but I like that it's, oh gosh, it's got some potential and it might not be apparent yet, <laughs> but I'll show you, I'll show you, the, um, I'll show you the potential I think it's got. But this, but this is something that you could be, um, we could be doing together. If I'm going too fast, by the way, um, you know, um, uh, uh, tell Louis or, or Murphy and, and, and I'll slow down. I'm, I'm quite fast. We haven't any questions yet, John T, so I'm assuming everyone's just sort of joining in and following your lead and... Okay, good. Um, I, th I think I'm getting slower, Louis, as, as I'm getting calmer through the, through the, through the drawing. Now, um, I was talking about, you know, what, 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 what this pattern might offer me or, or you know, like why, why it you know, might, might be interesting. And then, and then we'll get to doing some drawing, but let me just go over, over. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of, is it kind of clear what I'm doing, Louis, here? Yeah, the, the yellow is a bit harder to see, but I think seeing that kind of pattern building with the different colours, yeah, is... Well, what, 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 what I like about it, if I can find a, um, I've got, uh, I've got a, a, a black pen here is, um, let me see, I mean, if you, if you go, if you do lots and lots and lots, you know, you can eventually, you know, kind of create, I don't know what that would be. I'm looking for a cat in here. <laughs> a very basic sort of, a very basic sort of cat. <laughs> but, uh, do you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, so I mean, I, I, I doodle and I, and I play and I write lists and eventually I begin to draw stuff. So we should be kind of warmed up, with, you know, with, um, with you know, with, and, and I found a, a pen we're happy with. Um, we, we can uh, carry on for a bit uh, before we begin the first exercise. This is quite nice. This is, um, this is a, an, eight, an 8B pencil. See, just drawing horizontal lines and then vertical, that's kind of reflecting, isn't it? And then diagonal. And then diagonal the other way. I still suspend Lots of time just doing this very simple thing. Right, so if you're ready, um, we'll play a little game. Normally, normally I kind of, um, this, this is a kind of drawing game that I do with, um, you know, with, uh, with, with people, you know, like um, children at the school where, where I, uh, uh, I run a gallery uh, with, with, with kids, but it's, it's a nice simple drawing exercise. So normally we'd roll out a piece of paper and all do it together. But on, in, on, in, in, in this instance, you know, like on this occasion, we'll, 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 we'll do it like this. And it's, it's, a, it's a little activity that I learned from um, Turner Contemporary. They have a really good education team there. And I went to visit it once and, um, and they were doing this exercise with um, loads of kids and then I, I sort of stole it. And I think it's all right to steal it as long as you credit people. <laughs> so, um, um, so, uh, what, what, what it is, you, you get a, you, you, you start with a blank piece of paper. John, T. Yeah? Well, just before we start that, uh, that exercise, we've had a couple of questions. Okay. Someone who just joined a bit late asked if we could go through how, how to fold the paper one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and it's good because I need a few books myself, <laughs> as you can um, guess. Oops. I should, should tell everyone that this stick here is holding up the computer so that we can see. Okay, um, do you want to do it on the, the front camera, Louis, or, or, or is this one better? Um, I, I maybe, I think maybe the, this camera is better, yeah. Okay, so we get a piece of paper and it can be any, any size, but the most sort of uh, conventional size is A4, like you get in photocopiers and stuff. You fold it in half. Um, oops, there's a pen in there. 
you fold it in half and, and do a nice, nice crease. And then you fold it in half again. And then you fold it in half a third time. And then um, you find the folded, there's two edges. There's, 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 um, there's an open side and there's a closed side here. And, and, and um, what, what you do on, let me, let me, let me, oh no, yeah, close, a closed side here. So it opens up like this, and there's a closed side here. Now on, on this line, we're gonna rip. So you make a little tear. You don't tear it all the way down, you just, you, you, you just tear it to here. And then you open out the sheet of paper, and then you fold it this way. And then you, you push it together. Flatten it down. And you can kind of fold the pages together. So would it be helpful if I did that again? More, again, I can do, Louis. I need to make another one. Um, if you need to make another one, yeah, maybe we'll do, we'll do one more. Yeah. Um, and and I forgot actually when I was drawing that the camera's upside down, isn't it? So I'll, so I'll, I'll remember. Um, and, you, and you must remind me, Louis, you must shout at me if, if I'm doing it the wrong way. Okay, so paper's in half. Um, half again. After you've done this one, Jonty, somebody's asked if they can see the cat again. The cat? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I love drawing cats. I, I, I draw, um, is that the right way around or is... Okay. Like that? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, I, draw, I draw the same things over and over again. I draw uh, people's faces. I draw cats and I draw trees and, um, and I think... It'd be interesting to hear if, it, it, you know, if any, if any of the people were speaking to Charlotte, you know, have things that they draw over and over again. So, um, so we open this up. Um, this is the, 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 the together edge. Um, put it here. Oops. And rip it. Doesn't matter if it's an untidy rip. I don't think we need to be uh, you know, super accurate and, and precious, but it, 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 it depends what kind of artist you are. Some people are really kind of fastidious and careful. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a kind of artist who's a bit, um, not botch, but you know, like, um, I, don't, <laughs> I don't mind if, um, if things aren't super precise. And in fact, actually, I quite like it when they're not. Uh, okay, so look, we've got that, that, that and that. And, and, and actually, you know, I, I appreciate it. it's very simple for me to do this because I do it over and over again. But if anyone's sort of, um, you know, like uh, wants me to, you know, if, 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 if we have to go over it again, uh, that, 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 that's fine. Because um, it, it, it's the thing that you get good at by doing lots. So shall I, shall I do a little exercise with this, Charlotte or, and Louis and, and Murphy? Absolutely. Yes, please. Okay. So let me think. Uh, yeah, turn a contemporary. This drawing exercise. So what? So what they did, and and and, and what I liked. Um, um, you you have to ask everyone to think of a shape. So if so if 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 all the people at home can think of a shape, now you know like um, um, it could be a, you know a, a, it, it it can be like a definite shape, like a circle or a square. Or it can be like a kind of a wobbly shape, but you know like um, any type of shape. And you draw the shape on here. Okay. So you draw yours and I'll draw mine and we'll, hopefully we'll all try and draw different ones. So let me think of a, a shape. Okay. 
Now just wait a sec, because people might be, um, it looks actually that, um, can, I, can I just check with you, 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 you all? Is, is, <laughs> that, um, that's up yeah. for us, yeah. That's up for you, okay. Right, okay. <laughs> so look, when, when it was upside down, I thought my shape looked a bit like um, a map of uh, England, or the, the UK rather, that looks like Wales. Mm. And, uh, but when it's this way around, I don't know. Looks a bit like a face. It looks like what? Like a side on face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what, 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 what we've got to do now, is kind of think about something we might find in the kitchen, you know, like, um, um, you know, like, uh, and you, you can find food in the kitchen or you can find a cooking utensil or you can find, um, you know, a person sometimes, I, 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 you know, find all sorts of people in my kitchen. But think about something that you, you, you find in the kitchen and try and turn this shape into something you might find in the kitchen. So I'm gonna study my shape and kind of think what that might be. Hmm. <laughs> um, what might that be? And um, just while you're doing that, uh, well, I I think I, I think mine, you know, this this bit here could be like an ice cream cone. Could be. <laughs> it could. This could be a handle. Actually, if that's a handle. I think, the, I think this could be a jug, right? I mean, and, and, and obviously it's an, it's an ornamental and decorative jug, um, perhaps. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to turn it into. I'm going to turn it into a kettle, Louis, mine. It'll be like, be like a, 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 a kettle you've not seen before. So look, here's the base and here's a plug. And I don't know, here's a lid. Um, now, I don't know whether that's a kettle, I don't know whether it's one of those kind of things that juices fruit and vegetables, but it's, I don't know, I kind of like it, it's okay. Just whilst you're doing that, John T, um, somebody wanted to see how you did the cat one again. Oh yeah, yeah, can I do that now? Yeah, absolutely. Hold on. Thank you. Let me get a, let me get a piece of paper, a big piece of paper. Oops. We'll put this here to, to remind me. Now, so, so this, this was, um, this is where we use diagonal lines and, and straight lines to kind of grid and kind of mark out a piece of paper. So you draw one from that corner to this corner and then you draw one from that corner um, to its opposite corner. And that should give you the center. I mean, we, we, we've established that I'm not super precise, so it's, it's sort of off center, but, um, and then draw a line through that center and a line through this center. And you can use the different colors or the same colors. We won't use yellow because we know that that's not showing up very well. But then, you know, but then I imagine that this is the big piece of paper now. So I draw a diagonal from um, that corner to that corner. And then the same here, that corner to that corner. Hold on. And then we'll change color again. Wait a minute. I think the green might show up though, right? It's, it's, it's a bit, maybe a bit thin, that one, is it, Louis, is it? Let me use a fatter one. Um, but one of the things I love about this and kind of making patterns like this is, is that um, you use all these different colours. You know, I've got an orange here and a pink and a green. And, and the more you build it up, you kind of, you end up kind of creating, you know, like a, a new color from all these different combinations of color. So there's lots of things I like about this, this sort of, this pattern that I'm working on. 
working with, enjoying, um, being puzzled by. Um, so, can you see that, Charlotte? Is that is that making sense? Absolutely. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. Cool. Well done. I'd quite like to. You don't want to get me involved in in, in doing this because I'll I I, <laughs> I I can lose hours, uh, you know, on 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 this. But I'm just going to go. I need. I, I want to do you know a few more lines. And what this does, you know, like how you get the cat or how you get a man or a car or a leaf or a you know like a a gymnast or you know um, I don't know. A hot air balloon um, you kind of like look at the lines and, and see if you can kind of trace you know trace a shape you, you know using the lines it's quite do, do you know like when people uh, look at fire and the fire flickers and you kind of get a you know like a picture I kind of like look, looking at these these patterns let me just see. I've dropped a pen on the floor. Um, I just need to try and find it. I've got a nice, a nice green or something somewhere. Just bear with me. Um, I can't find the green. I might use a pencil. I'm just going to do one, one more, one more set. Does that show up okay? That's perfect. But can you see how, how, you know, the more lines you build and the more lines you use, it kind of creates a, a kind of um, um, a surface, hmm. a surface of colour that's not pink and it's not orange and it's, I mean, the pink's sort of showing through a bit. It's dominating. Oops, it's a bit like an illusion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what's, what, 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 what's hilarious though, uh, Murphy, is that like, I, I, can, I can really look at these things and think they're great, right? <laughs> you know, kind of like, um, um, because I'm sort of um, seeing things in them. But then other people, they just look at it and think, uh huh, there's not much there. <laughs> but, um, but there is. Right, okay. So, um, so look, we've got a nice pattern here. And we did a cat last time. Um, and we could do a cat again this time. I'll draw, I'll draw some stuff with my finger. And, and, and then we can, we can have a vote or something. So, um, I don't know whether... Um, the, these, these diamonds are like eyes, right? So you could make faces. And you could make a mouth. Like um, here, the more lines you do, the, the, the more sophisticated uh, shape you can get. So, so, so say for example, if we look at the, the thing as a big hole, you know, uh, you know, in, in its entirety, I mean, you can kind of like, um, you say this is the top of someone's lip. You could um, do that bit. This is called, I think this is called a, a filter, it's that bit here, and then, you know, kind of, I don't know, follow the line down. But I think we'll do a cat because that's what's been asked for. So let me think, where does it begin? Let's do it in black. So on, on, on the first line in, you could draw what will become its ear. And, and that's the side of its face, this is the ear. Um, that's the other ear. That looks kind of cat-like to me. That's the cat's chin. Um, let me have a look at where its legs could go. Actually, let, let's go down a little bit. That could be at the top of its body. This could be the front leg. 
trying to think. I'm just trying to think whether we should give this one two legs. I think maybe not. We could give it two back legs. If I overthink these things, I always sort of do them wrong. We could give it a pointed tail this time. I think it's because I'm a, a sort of child of the 70s and 80s, everything's kind of very block graphics. <laughs> you know, like, um, but I think that's quite a nice one. I mean, what we could do, we could give it an, another leg here behind so it's walking. Do you think that would be better, Charlotte? Or, or? You could do. I quite like it as it is. Yeah? You could do. The pointy tail. I'm not sure I'd have to live with that for a bit before I completely commit to it, but as we're, as we're just sort of playing and... Um... Yeah, that's quite nice. <laughs> it's, it kind of looks like it's going out for a stroll. <laughs> I mean, and, 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 you, and you know what, I mean, uh, the, 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 you know, I'm, I like the rules of this and I like sort of conforming to the rules of it, you know, so, so I would, probably wouldn't draw stuff in here. But, you know, if you want to, you, you're, you, you're very welcome to, you know, you could. In fact, those X's actually, I'll break my own rule there, they could be kind of like quite good eyes. Um, maybe. I don't know. You think that's okay? Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> um, I like it. I like the colours. <laughs> It'd be nice to kind of make an animation with these things. Um, but can you can you see how they entertain me? Mm. You could do so many different shapes on there. Yeah, but but you know you, you know what I'm thinking about at the moment. You know th th this is dictated and determined by the square bit of paper. So if the paper was, you know, triangular, we'd have a different set of shapes inside to, to play with. Now, I can, do one, I can do more of these and play with these if, if people are more interested in that. If this is, this is, I mean, that's not as nice a drawing as that, in my opinion. But, uh, but I'll tell you, I'll, I'll just, there's two things we've got, two processes we've got left with this, and, 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 and we'll, 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 we'll open it up to the people. If, if, if they say no, we'll say no. But my, the next thing is like, you turn this into a character, give it a nose, a mouth, and some eyes, and then you'd you'd you'd, you'd give it an environment to live in. Now, shall I shall I try that, or 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 should we go back to this stuff? Yeah, I think continue with that. We're all also doing it here. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I, I'm just going to draw and doodle with, with with you in a minute, and it'd be nice to it'd be lovely to hear some questions or comments or observations or su suggestions. So. Uh, so I, I, yeah, I have to turn this into a character. So I don't know what kind of how it how, how it would. Um... Oh, we've had a lovely positive yes shape drawing, please. Um, this, this one. Yeah, and then another comment that also says more of the cat stuff. So maybe a bit of both. Hey, well, listen. You know, you, you know what? I love drawing cats. I've got a cat at home called Tinkerbell, and Tinkerbell um, is is you know, how long has she been with us now? You know, like. Um, I don't know, five or six, but a black cat and, um, and a joy. But she always brings, you know, like, uh, she's, a, she's a killer as well. But, um, but um, I, draw, I draw Tinkerbell all the time. Let, let me just finish this, just to, just, just to have, um, kind of like, then I can move on. <laughs> these, these are trees in the background. <laughs> now look, I, I, um, um, the books, you're going to have to carry on making your, your, yourselves. I mean, I, uh, well, it, if, well, no, I, I mean, I can, I can make them, but some, I might just draw on the paper and, and we can draw together and we can use books or, or just paper. But, um, so I don't know, uh, so yes, yeah, so my cat um, is sort of um, heavenly and kind of naughty and wild. Um, yeah, she, it, she, it, she is called Tinkerbell. And, and we had lots of uh, difficulty with the name uh, because, um, you know, every, everyone's got an opinion, but um, yeah, she, she, she's, she's grown into the name. And, and Tink is black. Um, now, when I say I draw cats all the time, I do. 
whether, whether they're good drawings or not, you know, that, that, that's uh, <laughs> subject to um, different people's opinion. You know, they're kind of, I suppose, they're more cartoony like than this than, than, um, than you know, super accurate or um, uh, lifelike. Um, but I might draw another cat on, on, on her back. We don't have two cats and she's very territorial and not many other cats kind of come around because um, Tink, you know, is, 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 yeah, is, is quite, not mean, but she, but she kind of, um, yeah, she, she fights. And I'll do a fish. You know, you know, a bird. A bird could be nice. I'm trying to think what else cats do. My cat chases le leaves, you know? Um, I'd, there's a sycamore tree near our, near our house, and I think that's the kind of type of, of, of um, leaf. And cats, they don't have eyes like people. I think they have a... Um, I think they have a, a line, a kind of a slit like that. Um, we could draw, we, I mean, we, we could think of a story together. When I was thinking about the books, I was thinking about, um, you know, it, 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 has a, it has the potential for a kind of narrative. I mean, we could, we could, we could invent a character together. Or I could, um, or I could, um, yeah, I suppose, Short, show you a few different kind of cat examples, maybe. Now, go on, Louis. I, I can't hear you, Louis. I've lost you, Louis. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we've had a comment that's asked if you can sort of explain how you think about approaching the drawing and how you draw it as you make it. Yeah, um, yeah. So what sort of base shapes you might use or yeah, yeah, how you create. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's, that, that's a good question. Um, well, I think, I think for the cats, you know, the ears are, 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 are always the kind of thing to, um, you know, that, um, well, they're different from human ears because they sit on, on, on the top. You know, when you draw a person, the ears sit on the side but when I, when I draw a cat, so they're kind of like um, a triangular. There's a flat bit between them. And, and then there's a kind of um, a circle beneath. So I always start with the face when I draw people. Or when I, and at art college, when, when you're learning arts, you know, when, when you first do life drawing, they say, never, you know, never draw the eyes first. And I always draw the eyes first. But, um, so so with, with, with a cat, I always start with the face. So, and generally, in whatever kind of position, you know, uh, the, the, the cats, um, you know, um, adopting. Let me just let me just have a look at that. Also, John T. Just so you know, um, we are coming to the end of our forty-five minutes, but we can keep going for an hour. Um, but for anybody that needs to leave, this session is being recorded, so you can find it online afterwards. Okay. Well, I, um, um, I'm I'm always happy to stick around. I, I'm a I'm a sort of chatterbox, unfortunately. But uh, so when you get bored of me, just turn me off. <laughs> um, um, so I don't know. I mean, th 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 this this cat looks like a, a, I don't know. You know, um, it's it, it's fine. It's, it, I've got this. Um, I've got this. Um, you know, the the pointy ears, the round uh, face. I think the eyes I put about halfway, maybe, and I I, I kind of do um, oval eyes, like like we kind of. Did it, did it, you know, when we were kind of drawing those tear shapes. And they're quite high on that cat, but I like it. It, it will make, it will give that cat, having high, high eyes like that, I think might make it look a bit regal. And then I just put a line, you know, kind of, uh, you know, to get to, um, you know, to, um, you know, to be the eye. And then, um, and then a line for the nose. And then, uh, you know, for, for, for this mouth, I'm trying to think, it's kind of two hoops, like two kind of, and then, and then maybe a little thing there, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what 
you know what I might do? I might give, I might give this uh, cat a cool little moustache. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I like that. Um, I, I almost want to give him a little top hat, but um, that's the, he's turning into a kind of spectacular, um, brilliant genius cat. I think he probably needs a monocle, uh, but, but that could be going too far. Um, so, and I, you know, I never, I never, what I used to do was throw away all the drawings and, you know, because they weren't, they, they didn't, um, you know, look nice. So this cat that I've drawn here, it's not really, uh, you know, I don't know, it's kind of, it, it, it's good, but I think if I persevere with the drawing, it'll get better and better, you know, so, um, I might like to give it a place to live. Um, let's see. It might be, it might be, from, this cat might be from Switzerland. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know, Louis. I just, it's kind of, um, a, what would a Swiss cat eat? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> or a Toblerone, yeah. A Toblerone is a great idea. Let's have a look. Cheese and Toblerone. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a, you know, an ideal diet, but, but probably a, a delicious one. I don't know. Yeah. So to Toblerone sort of, let's see. It's a bit more, I've done a very sort of two-dimensional Toblerone um, and, and some cheese. I don't know if Swiss cheese is holy. But I mean, that, that, that's a bit of a, a, a silly and fun cat. Um, I'm, trying, um, I'm trying to think what my cat does. It runs, she runs, she eats. So I suppose to, to go back to the question of how to draw one or how I draw one, um, I've always been drawing them uh, here, you know, today with the head on the left hand side and it facing that way. But let's just see whether I can draw one facing this way. I think there is a preference, you know, um, for different people. It's maybe because, you know, it depends on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, I suppose. But again, you know, I've done the pointy ears and the kind of, um, and, and the round face. And then that, I don't know, that's okay. Some whiskers. I think the whiskers happen around the nose. Um, and then the eye. And then, but maybe, maybe, maybe this cat, I don't, I don't know how to uh, show that it's, it's looking at something. I've, I've made the eyes a bit thicker at the bottom uh, to, to maybe suggest that she's looking at, oh, now this one's got very kind of long, let me have a look at that, long and, <laughs> long and elegant legs. Um, look, they're, I mean, they're, they're kind of super pointy. So, uh, hilarious. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, uh, it's difficult sort of saying, you know, um, um, but it's good to, it's interesting to think about, you know, uh, you know, uh, how, how you draw something. Let's look at that for a minute. It almost needs some eyebrows. Now the eyebrows would make it <laughs> quite human. What, what, what I quite like doing sometimes actually is this, because I, because I struggle with cats' faces, and I do, you know, um, so, you know they're, they're, they're tricky for me. Um, <laughs> what, what, I, what I do sometimes is this, and, 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 and I do this with, 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 you know, trees or coffee cups or anything, but I, I kind of, because I like drawing human faces better, you know, even, even though that's the kind of cat's outline, the kind of the, the, the face, you know, the, 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 the woman's face, I suppose that is, on that occasion, um, you know, that's a human face on a, on a, on a kind of, on a cat sort of frame. And, but then, when you draw the legs and you kind of like, um, I don't know, what could this one be doing? Um, I want, it, should, it should maybe do, be doing something different from walking. I wonder what it could be. Well, may, maybe, you know, like, um, maybe it's sort of, I was, I was thinking it could be curving around that. But I don't know whether that's any good. Let me see. No, she... <laughs> <laughs> it just sort of, um, 
It loops. Maybe that's better. Can, can I mean this? I sort of scratch out the mistakes. That's sort of looking a bit. So this. I don't know. Maybe maybe the, maybe the face should have been about here. Let me try it again. Anyway, with the with this with. <laughs> With the human face, um, um, animals with human faces are quite like. I don't know whether this is going to be a a, a, a child or an adult or, um, or what's it called? You know, a man or a woman. But um, but it but it could be. Um, what other animal could it be? Um. That's more like a dog's head, isn't it? <laughs> um. I mean, that 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 could be a um, a dog or a cow or a pig or, or gosh knows what. <laughs> I kind of oh, like that's lovely. I like that. I kind of yeah, I do. Somebody's asked, um, how would you how would you start by drawing the human face? What approach do you take to that? Um, oh well, um, um, I love drawing faces. I draw faces all the time. So, um, I th and I think the eyes give you character. You know, so so like, um, and and kind of eye, eyes are generally that that kind of shape. Now, if you look at my eyes, if you just go to my screen a minute, Louis, you know, like, um, my eyes are kind of, well, I mean, they're not, they're not doing it now. <laughs> but I think there's a bit of white, you know, when I look at people, um, except now, <laughs> I think, I think, well, it's not actually, it's, my eyes are kind of pretty central, but I, but I, I always like, I always kind of thought um, my eyes were a bit kind of uh, sleepy like that. But they're not, are they? <laughs> We've just proved that kind of like in the middle, but um, but you know, like um, so different people have different um, you know, di the eyes, the pupils, these bits sit di sit differently in, in in the eyes. So, but what you've got to do is make sure that they're, that, that, that they're a pair. Now, even though that one's that one's smaller, um, so long as you kind of have the, the you know the placements of the pupil in a in a kind of similar place in each eye. It will always look like they belong together. So I always start with the eyes. And I think one of, one of the things I learned when I was kind of doing uh, lots of life drawing when I was, when I was uh, younger, uh, you know, uh, there's the, the certain sorts of um, measurements, you know, general kind of, you know, everyone's different, but you know, they, they say that uh, you should kind of leave the space of an eye in between the eyes, you know, so, so can you see how that would fit in there? So that gives you kind of like an, a, a nice distance, but, if we just concentrate on eyes for a minute, it's, it's kind of nice when, when, you know, when they're far apart and, and when they're close together, it kind of, it gives, it gives the kind of, um, you know, uh, the, the face a different kind of character. And, um, you know, you can, you can make people look in different places, you know, so look, they're looking that way. And you know these are looking that way, and it, and it gives them a bit of life. You know, if you if you, if you leave a little a little glimmer of light in them. So that person, I don't know what that person could be looking at. Noses are great, you know, um, all shapes and sizes. You know, they're just simple lines. Um, for a long time, I used to do noses like this, like kind of wooden Pinocchio noses. Um, the no nostrils are great, and um, you know sometimes you need a nostril, and some sometimes not. I'm trying to think what my favorite. This this nose, this nose on this person is kind of is all right. It's good. And then the mouth.
you know, it's like a hill, a couple of hills, like those, like those Swiss mountains we drew with the cats. But again, you know, lip, lips come in all different, um, and mouths come in all different shapes and sizes. I think you've got to look in the mirror a lot to, um, you know, to, to um, think about uh, mouths. And what, what's it? I think though, maybe those teeth are the bottom teeth, maybe. Let's have a look, maybe. And I like this bit. Sometimes I draw that bit, but not always. But I, I really like outlines. You know, some people make some people make pictures by, you know, kind of putting, um, by putting, you know, like, um, you know, color and, and and whatnot next against, you know, the, you know itself. Or, um, but I, I like I like the I like the outlines. It's, I suppose it's very very graphic. But actually, the, those eyes and that nose. And it's not perfectly symmetrical. That, that nose doesn't sit, you know, dead center. And those lips are kind of off center. But human faces are like that. They're not kind of completely symmetrical. And, and when you draw them completely symmetrical, they kind of look a bit wrong. But this person looks like a nice person. <laughs> Don't they? Lovely. Very nice. He looks very friendly. <laughs> yeah, I like, I like the look of them. I don't, but I, and the ears, I don't know. I think the, I think the ears are... I don't, are they generally in line with the eye? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, you, so that pattern that I, I like, that, that we kind of looked at with the, um, you know, looked at with the, um, you know, diagonals, it's a bit like this kind of thing where you just hatch, where you, you know, you cross hatch. <laughs> And it's really nice to go over a picture and kind of do these things because it makes the picture seem a lot more complete. So it would be nice to introduce some color into this. Um, But yeah, faces, I, I always start with the eyes. Um, I think. We're well, coming up to about three o'clock now, John T. Maybe if we have one more face and then we can sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, look, you know, I, I seem to have drawn, um, I'm, I'm looking at my face. I, we need to draw a scruffy person with bags under their eyes and um, wrinkles <laughs> and greyness and kind of like, um, and that, 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 that might be, this might be more accurate of, um, of me. We, I can have a big nose. Um, um, I'll try and make it friendly still. <laughs> um, with, with a smile. Um, yeah, I suppose, and look, you know, like, you know, this, this face is bigger. So it looks, it looks kind of, does it look like me? <laughs> 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 I can draw some, uh, what's it called, like a, a grey beard. Somebody said, could you give him some hair? Give him some what, hair? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what my hair is doing today. Not, not, what, it, not what it should be doing. It's, um, and, and uh, I get that's good. Well, how does that, what does that hurt? That's all right. That's quite a good, a good haircut. Um, again, yeah, it looks a little bit like you, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Um, can I can I just do my shirt? Yeah. Look. This is my t-shirt under my shirt. I think my shirt um, is a, a button, and then. Does that look like me? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I mean, we could, we, we, we could finish there now. Louis, Louis listen, I, what I'd like, you know, it, 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 I do lots of this on Zoom at the moment with the students and it's, it, it, it's great fun. Um, but if, if any people have been watching, I've done a picture, you know, I'd really love to see it. Mm. Um, because, um, yeah, because yeah, if, if, if that can be possible, then, then I'd, I'd love to see what you've done. Um, but I, hope you, I hope you've liked um, my haphazard approach with, with, with this stick that kind of holds up the camera and then, and then these, some good drawings and some bad ones. I don't, I, I don't know what, can I just tell you which one I like the best? Yes. Look. Um, I like the eye, these eyes. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is, but you know, I'm kind of. I, I like the fact that, 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 that I don't know. That one, I was. I was quite disappointed with. I don't know. It was. Why is it? But, but you know what? I, I. I don't mind it as much now. I'm. I'm glad that seemed to go down well. That that you know, because because I'm interested in this. That. I'm not sure about that one. Um, I do love making these lines, so I enjoyed doing that. And, and it's kind of nice, I forgot to say this actually, uh, Murphy and, and, and Charlotte and, and Louis, what's kind of nice is when you've made a book, if you pull it out again, you get this cool, you know, kind of like, um, you know, whole new picture. So we've got lots of cats, because cats were popular, mm -hmm. uh, Switzerland. I don't know, but listen, um, I've enjoyed myself, and, and, and thank, thank you very much for having me. Thank you, John T. We've had a we've had a great time too. I'll, um, I'll put us all on the screen for the last moment. Um, yeah. As you said, yeah, we, we'd love to see uh, everyone's drawings from that, and whether you've sort of yeah fo followed more of the kind of uh, exercises at the beginning or done your own drawings of, of cats in different situations. We'd love to see them all. We'll we'll be sending out a Dropbox link at, at the end of the session, and you can also find that Dropbox link on our website. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, John T. That's been really great. Um, if anyone would like to kind of watch those back, we're going to be uploading the YouTube video, as I said at the beginning. So that will be online within the next hour. As always, we're going to be sharing a questionnaire that we'd love any units to um, reply to and let us know how they found each session and what they've enjoyed. We're just getting lots of messages coming in now. Uh, John T just saying, thank you so much. We, people have had a great time um so yeah so lots of really nice comments coming in um next we've got lucy stein and she's going to be a potato printing workshop which we're really looking forward to i know john t's a big fan <laughs> i love that video that's my favorite video i think it's just fantastic well there's a video already on our youtube channel uh, of that workshop but john uh, but lucy's going to be uh, live with us next week uh, talking us through that so um thanks again to john t somebody has asked how to book next week as well. Uh, so we just had a question about um, booking for next week. We'll um, send out an email with all the information about that. Um, so I can't see that question. Um, yeah, we'll send out an email about how, how, uh, how to book. As always, you can just go to our, our website uh, and then we'll link through to the Eventbrite and you book through that. But um, thanks again, then thanks John T and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.